Hi, thank you for your time. I hope our project will touch your heart. Your help means a great deal. Our overall goal is a big one. My name is Karen Justice. The Gulf oil spill dramatically affected our area. I've always cared about animals and the environment, but it was a turning point for me. I made the decision to do everything I could to make a really significant difference. I've spent the past few years working on what I believe will become a paradigm shift. The Big Happy Alligator Alley Project is the result of this new direction. It has three basic parts. Happiness is the highest form of health. Laughter sparkles like water and sunlight. A smile opens hearts. So that's where I'm going to start. I'd like to introduce Wild Jungle Chick, a happy, funny greeting card line. It will become the vehicle we'll use to fund the rest of a really beautiful dream. Life today needs laughter. Many folks find themselves seriously stressed out. If you underline humor in the drama, laughter can be like an instant vacation. Here are just a few of the several hundred cards that are ready for publication. I've worked hard to bring you something special. I hope you love them. Life is better when you're laughing. Life plus laughter times love equals happiness. Once our greeting card line, Wild Jungle Chick, is thriving in the marketplace, it will provide the vehicle to self-fund major parts of our project, which is the deeper purpose. We will be known forever by the tracks we leave is a Native American proverb. Today, children need hope. Conservation is now one of the most important issues we face, but traditional ideas are becoming unrealistic. The acquisition of wealth can no longer be the driving force of humanity. Kinship with all creatures of the earth, sky, and water was a real and active principle for Native Americans. They learned what only the study of nature teaches, and that is to keep their children close to its softening influence. The Big Happy Alligator Alley Project will introduce the series of 12 children's books I've written. The third step will then involve building a chain of ecotourism-based theme park sanctuaries. Socrates said, the secret of change is to focus all of your energy, not on fighting the old, but on building the new. Florida's Everglades and Alligator Alley are a place of wonder. They're a walk back in time. It's one of the most unique ecosystems on the planet. It's a mystic wilderness, a liquid landscape. The area was called Lake of the Holy Spirit by early explorers. It's the largest bird sanctuary in the world and refuge for threatened and endangered species. Some call it America's rainforest. It now hangs precariously perched on the edge of our day-to-day -day world. Natural habitats are being destroyed at an alarming rate. Each character who lives there has their own big story and those stories interact. There are no disposable parts in this wild and wonderful world. Each character has a story that deserves a happy ending. Mermaids Love Manatees is my first book in a 12 book series. It's an attempt at creating something truly beautiful. It opens young hearts to the love present in nature as children begin to understand the wonderful interconnectedness of life. 
Endearing stories need lovable characters. There are lots of good artists, but giving life to a character requires a special talent. When I paint, I live in my characters' worlds. I feel their feelings. They start to write their own stories, and as I paint, I wrap love around them. I paint love into each painting, and children feel that. In a way, I'm writing love stories for children. Several professionals working with autistic kids have taken the time to write, to let me know that my art got the children communicating. The children wanted to know more about what my characters were thinking. If you read my biography, you'll see that I have extensive background in project development and how deeply I care about this one. I was born on a small farm in the wilderness, but I had an extraordinary mother. She made up wonderfully intriguing stories about the animals who visited our cabin. This nurtured a deep appreciation of the environment and a love for animals that allowed the wonder of childhood to last a lifetime. This project is designed to pass that same love of life to children. Some fairy tales live on in our hearts. They add value, texture, and insight to our existence. I'm creating this project because like many of you, I'm concerned about the future of our planet and the legacy we leave unborn generations. I care about this with my whole heart. There will be a huge market for this series. Ecotourism is currently growing at a much faster rate than regular tourism and is a key contributor to economic growth. It creates a sustainable future and is much more valuable to long-term economic health. So in the theme of show me the money, <laughs> I hope to help point out to big business the value of preserving our most precious natural resources. I'd like to see a new type of green theme park developed on reclaimed land. Campsites developed into a series of family-oriented theme parks located around the state, creating natural habitats that provide sanctuaries for wildlife, plus an education and wonderful adventures for children. This would provide an opportunity to do good for those big investors who might be interested in developing a project of this kind, who care about the future. The target market is enormous and the impact it could have on protecting wildlife and environments for future generations is huge. It's an ambitious dream, but vision becomes reality. The I Ching states that the way to fight evil is not directly, but by making energetic progress in the good. My books are written to open children's hearts to the beauty of nature and a love of animals. They'll create special memories. Thank you so much for listening. I'm grateful for your support.